play the hand you are dealt. You might have heard this quite often. But in poker, the rules are quite different. You don't have to play the hand you are dealt. You, you can always fold and wait for another round. If you can read other players, you can win the game. But what if the same rules applied at your office as well? Well, some industry experts are claiming that poker can actually help you win at the workplace. But can it really and how so? There are certain skills that are needed bo both in poker and at the workplace. Business leaders, in fact, believe that learning to read people's minds, bluffing when needed, quickly assessing risk, playing to win, can actually propel your career. More so if you are a woman, because data suggests ev that very few of them actually play poker. Poker demands players to make critical decisions based on limited information. Not to forget, this information is constantly changing. Playing poker requires analyzing the strength of your hand, observing the opponent's behavior, calculating the odds, and making calculated bets. Now, all these elements mirror situations people encounter at the workplace. Poker also requires players not only to voice their strategies boldly, but also to take assertive actions. Over 200 companies, banks, law firms have acknowledged this. And this includes PepsiCo and Morgan Stanley. They have held poker training sessions for their employees. Some even believe that it can help them close the gender gaps. You see, poker tables and boardrooms are similar in some ways. Roughly 93% of Fortune 500 companies are run by men. 96% of professional poker players are also men. But women are slowly entering these male-dominated areas. This is Jenny Just. She is a fintech founder and a self-made billionaire. In the year 2020, she started an organization along with her daughter. It's called Poker Power. It teaches women how to play poker. Jenny believes that learning poker can actually help boost confidence in women. This is Kaina England. She is a professional poker player based in Las Vegas. In the last four years, she has earned more than $1 million in poker tournaments. She's also an instructor, an instructor for Poker Power. In poker, you have to shake off mistakes and move on without ruminating a lesson. Some say that should be applied to work life as well. Other poker experts believe that anytime you are undermined or someone thinks less of you or that you're not capable, you are in a position of strength. The same can actually stand true for working environments as well. According to poker teachers, the trick essentially is to recognize the right opportunity and then grab it. In poker, if you have terrible cards or a feeling that someone else has great cards, you can just fold. As in, you can sit it out until the next game. Professional poker players fold roughly 80% of the time. And this gives them an opportunity to observe other players, to study the mannerisms of their opponents and form a strategy. Some call it the power of the pause. In the workplace, pausing can mean taking time to think. And this could be before dashing off a response to an email or strategically turning down an assignment when overworked. So can poker really help you become a better worker? Now, we don't know for sure. Many parallels can be drawn. But if indeed it is true, then Indians who play poker all through the Diwali season should have become employees of the month. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.